Now to finish the effects on this photo, uh, one thing I want to do is kind of blend out the background. You know, mo there's not much visible here, but I do kind of want to get rid of a lot of the detail that is a little bit distracting. It doesn't, you know, it certainly doesn't add to the photo. So a trick I like to do with that is kind of it makes it look like, you know, what a, ph a professional photographer would do with the depth of field, which with a standard digital camera, probably you're not going to be able to do that with the basic settings. So I'm going to make a layer, copy that top layer. Now with this top layer here, I am going to basically erase this entire background. And there's a couple different ways of doing that. First of all, you can either use your eraser and scroll in really close here. I would probably turn off the layers below it so that way you can see what's really going on so you can kind of get a really good idea of what you're doing. And always zoom in really close so you can get right in there. But there is another option to do that and that would be the extract filter. And how to use the extract filter? You're going to click on your pen. I would select Smart Highlighting. And then what you're going to do is you're going to draw here. I'm going to use my stylus, otherwise I'm going to leave it. Okay, what you, you want to do is so make sure that this marker is selected and the smart highlighting feature is on. And then you're going to take, take your mouse and essentially draw right where you want the part of the image to be extracted. Now don't worry if you... <laughs> if you don't stay in the lines because it's kind of difficult. And you can see this green highlight popping up here. And if you go over, that's fine. Basically, Photoshop will, you know, do its best to calculate the difference between the, the object that you're trying to separate and the background. And it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to do the job. It works much better when there's a lot of contrast, like like the light skin against a dark background. But in the areas where, you know, the hat is dark, it might not be very perfect. But we'll see what we, get, we come up with. Now once you get that highlight in there, then you want to select the paint bucket tool and just click on the areas and it's going to fill with blue. And that's what's going to be extracted out of the image. Click OK. <gasps> Oops. <laughs> okay, I haven't done this for a while. We'll try this again.
Okay, now once you have your image the way um, outlined, the way you want it, then you're going to select the paint bucket tool up here in the top left corner and click on the area that you want to keep. And it should turn this shade of blue and click OK. Now I see I have some residual pixels left over from where where I didn't want it to, but we can go in and clean that up. But basically that's going to get rid of the majority of the background that you want to get rid of. I'm going to take my eraser and brush to be a little smaller. We're just going to go in. Now once again this does not have to be perfect and you're going to see why once I'm done. Okay, now that I've cleaned up this, um, the image, there's still some pixels that are missing, but we're going to be filling those back in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on the layer behind it. You can virtually see that it looks like nothing has been changed. But with that layer selected, I am going to select the filter and blur, Gaussian blur. And right now I have the radius set to 7.5 pixels, and that you can just you know play around with and see exactly where you want your image to be blurred out in the background. Kind of liked that. That click OK, and that brings the main focus of your image up up front. 